Hi Pisces, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of February and welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you will enjoy this reading and I hope you've had a wonderful Valentine. So let us know in the reaction what your, how your Valentine was. I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot and I'm also using my Metatron cards and the Angel Feather cards. Okie dokie. And you can see them back in the playlist. You will find um, the uh, review on both uh, decks. And here we go. And you, if you would like to go uh, to my website, then in your top right hand corner, you will have an eye and just click on that and it will take you to the website. Now, there's also more information um, down below in the description box, uh, like email if you would like to have an extended reading and don't want to go to the website and also uh, other information. So have a look. If you're new, welcome to this channel and uh, please subscribe and hit the bell and also to my faithful cyber angels thank you for coming back i do appreciate it we you make the channel as well what it is just working together with me thank you very much my cyber angels so let's get started first of all you've got the six of pentacles on the 17th it is my give and take uh, card really because I think it's a beautiful card um, it is also the basic meaning is um, if you are um, really fortunate in wealth and status you might be giving somebody a gift or you might be giving somebody a helping hand or a listening ear that's why I say give and take um, because you might need, if you are not um, um, in a good position at the moment, if you um, are, de um, I forgot the, the name, hold on. If you are the one that's less fortunate, uh, you might be depressed or you might be unwell, uh, you might be getting a helping hand or a listening ear from somebody else, or you might be even receiving a gift because that is the basic meaning receiving a gift but i think there's more to each card each card has got its bad side or negative side and a positive side and that's what that's what makes them so unique and beautiful you are in balance six means in balance being in balance then you have the uh, chakra tree okay that's the chakra tree uh, from uh, Archangel Metatron he is the angel that clears chakras also Archangel Michael and this is the tree of life the family tree any tree is important because it's got several messages okay you will go they're not in alignment like yellow blue because blue goes above yellow because it's the throat then you've got the solar uh, heart and then you've got the solar plex but this just goes to show um uh, our life is not constantly the same we take different paths one moment you might be very spiritual the next moment you might be working with the solar plexus and the other moment you might be working with your throat like i said it's the then you've got the throat uh, then you've got the heart chakra which is pink and green then you've got um, the yellow chakra that's the solar plex emotions then you've got the orange then you've got the red the sepal chakra and the grounding chakra the red so that is how i work with these cards and metatron as well by clearing your chakras and bringing you back into balance this could be somebody from the family that is bringing you back into balance that give you a helping hand giving you a listening ear so that you can balance out that emotional chakra 
you can talk about it and you will be receiving love and healing and so that you can ground yourself. So there might be travel on the horizon, either spiritually or physically. This could be on Monday the 17th. Now midweek you have the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles means that you might be balancing finances or indeed your emotions. Perhaps that's why you might need a helping hand financially or physically. And you have got the, uh, you, on Monday, it, you're getting balanced. You're going from a five to a six. Then we've, you're still trying to manage finances or emotional, perhaps spiritual balance between heart and mind. Sorry about that, Pisces. Um, somebody came to the door. Um, so I was saying, you might, at midweek, you might be balancing um, your heart and your mind, or your heart and your soul, or your relationship, because Valentine is just being, you might have just met somebody new, or you have a partner that is there already, and he's yours, or she's yours, for eternity. Because we've got the... Uh, uh, infinity symbol here above the golden cup and it says golden you've got number 16 7 is your lucky number so luck is on your side you realize perhaps now that you have an infinitive partner a partner that is in balance and that you are, will be there for always your relationship is near to perfect because you're trying to keep the balance continuously continuously and the cup re, uh, of replenishment so newness every time you are with your partner you feel as if you your cup is overflowing with love with friendship with um balance uh, you, it's a compliment to each other. You are a compliment to each other because you are always balancing and so is, are they. And I think they feel the same way. They feel like family because it's lying next to the tree of life, which also to me resembles family. And if you go back to the this sign, then if you go back into the Jewish uh, book, the Bible, then you can see the symbol back as well. Those were all the family groups, and that's how the tree um, in uh, the is, uh, Jewish book um, is uh, represented. And this is you can also see this is father and this is mother. The two, they balance the whole group or the head of the group. So that is awesome. It's yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I I talk a lot about signs and different cultures, but that is what I've learned um, from traveling the world. And if you would like to know which places I've been, then have a look in the playlist sharing uh, places that I've been. I've been to Israel as well. That it is amazing, uh, but that's a different story. Let's get back to your reading. So you have got the golden cup. You have victory uh, because usually when you have victory, you get a golden cup as a reward and you'll be replenished and you've got luck on your side. So you will be back in balance by Wednesday. You will be more conscious of it. Then on Friday, we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, again depicted with a lady and a butterfly and being out in nature. You've come through a hard time and now you're in a transformational time. You're taking a rest because you are getting ready for the new beginning. And healing is here, definitely. And it also involves your heart. You've got number 39, 
which is 12, and you've been that will turn into three, and three is creativity. And look at this. This is such a beautiful stone. That's the emerald, and it's also the heart chakra. And it is green heart healing. So your heart always feels healed when your partner is there. It is beautiful. It is really beautiful. So open up your heart, be creative, and don't let things worry you. Okay? Life is always up and down, as we all know. But so long we have our partner, um, then we feel the strongest and in balance. We've got the Ace of Wands. So you, this means a new beginning. This could be with a fire sign, uh, a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. Or it could be a new job. It could be a new hobby. Something that you're going to do together. That could be awesome. And again, you've got 12. So it's quite significant. 12, 12. Okay, this becomes a 12 and this is a 12. And that again is creativity. So perhaps you're starting a new hobby. But you will be going back and remember... Um, Remember your ancestors and where you come from. And uh, you might be sharing your family history with your partner, whether he's new or already there for a long time. And you, you've got the artistic records, okay? You're looking back and you evaluate and review the situation whether it's from the past or whether it is um, at the present. Perhaps you're reviewing friendships, your ancestors, how you got connected with, with, uh, with your partner. Um, you're looking back on history. Family is very important to you. Um, I would say don't look back too much. Don't learn from the past and how, how to maintain that balance. That most probably will become clear to you. Perhaps that could be uh, what you're looking back, looking back into uh, family history from both your sides and where you come from. And what can you do about it? Perhaps make a hobby out of it. Go back to places where your uh, ancestors have lived. This could be great fun when you go on a holiday and you come from another country and you're going to find out the cult culture from different countries and history. To finish off the reading in this respect, uh, the overall energy is the Ten of Cups. Big happy families. You can see the rainbow. You know that heaven and earth are connected when you see a rainbow. Perhaps it's your ancestors that um, all your past and your past lives that is bringing you happiness the experience the wisdom of what um, you've learned your life experience perhaps there is a reunion with family and friends or perhaps there is an um, it's, the ten of cups is a lot like the ten of pentacles perhaps you might be getting an inheritance or you might have won the lottery. There is a full circle here, and there is a new beginning, a better beginning, happiness, reunion, and it is awesome. You are definitely in balance at the end of the week. Perhaps it might be your spirituality that you're looking back on, um, you, the, your, the lives that you've traveled um, spiritually, I mean, and the wisdom and what you've learned. Don't look at what you don't have. Look at where you are now and what you've reached. Perhaps you might be digging deeper into spirituality because of the cup, because they also use this sort of chalice um, uh, to give thanks in some cultures, uh, religions. The cup flows over. I can just hear the the words, the cup, cup, cup flows over. You've got spiritual growth and peace. 
because you are in balance. You've got the violet angel feather. The angel, I'll show you the card, and this angel card, um, the angel connected to the violet uh, angel feather. Um, and let me just have a look. I don't know everything out of my head. Um, I just have to check that up, my darlings. The angel associated with this is Archangel Jovial and Angel Gavril and Angel Machulik. And that's the angel, the two angels of peace. And Archangel Jovial is the angel of joy and enlightenment. You can wear amethyst. That will also heal your headaches if you suffer from the headaches and also will um, rejuvenate you as you have peace. You can also use fluorite and shorite uh, and purity. Purperite. Per 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 right. Okay. And purple is the calm uh, healing color for wisdom, love, calmness, um, soul vocation, and then we're going back to this card, the artistic records, success and power, meditation, visionary, devotion, teacher, independence, divine inspiration, and equilibrium, and equilibrium also means balance. So basically, Pisces, your message for this week is balance in spirit and heart and also in family and your partnership. Ooh, nice one. Beautiful reading. I think it's awesome. Let me know what you think and please share this reading with family and friends and give us the thumbs up and I hope to uh, meet you in the live sessions. I give away free cards, but Super Chat is available. And if you would like an extended reading, then please um, go to the description box and get in contact with me. Love you all and see you later. Thank you very much to my Cyber Angels for supporting this channel. And of course, thank you very much for the new viewers to come and visit. And I hope to um, get to know you in the live sessions. Be blessed and have a beautiful week.